Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a little haul video showing you everything I picked up during the Sephora sale this spring. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So the first item I picked up, I was trying to be really good and really pare everything down and really think things through before I bought everything. And also, I'm totally one of those people because of my YouTube channel and because of how much I love makeup, I tend to not wait for a sale. I just buy whatever I want to buy. So a lot of the things that I, you know, have my eye out for Sephora, I just purchase them because I don't want to wait. I did end up picking up the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I bought so many things before the sale started, but that's okay. So the first order I placed, I did pick up the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I just, as soon as I heard this was launching and kind of knew what it was, I was really curious about this product because there's nothing I love more than hydration and having my makeup cling to my face. So this is the primer I have on underneath my makeup today. I've used this quite a few times and so far I love it. No. And so far, I like it. I think it's good. I can't tell yet if it's actually like a game changer product that I would say like run out and get, but I'm happy I purchased it and I plan on continuing to try it. I'm not really a primer girl. I didn't wear primer um, for a long, long time until I picked this one up. Every once in a while, I put on the Smashbox um, hydrating primer. It's that white bottle stuff um, that's supposed to be more like a moisturizer. Um, and I like that on really, really cold days, especially considering where I live. So I thought I would give this a try. And so far, I like it. That's all I have to say about it. And then since I love to use glitter glue so, so much, I decided to pick this guy up from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am a ride or die for the Too Faced glitter glue, but I thought I would try something else. So I did pick this up. It's like a cute little nail polish bottle, basically. But I haven't tried this out yet because I... I'm using a Too Faced glitter glue right now, um, but I will definitely try this and let you guys know how I feel once I have tried this on my eyes. The next thing I grabbed in this order is one that I have had my eye on forever, but it was so close to the sale when these launched that I told myself to just wait it out and get it during the sale. So I picked this up. This is a new product from Kevin Aquan. It's the Neo bronzers and they have three shades. I picked mine up in dusk medium. So I believe they have a light and a dark shade. And this has a 12 month shelf life and you get 6.8 grams of product and it is made in China. That's interesting because I thought Kevin Aquan was supposed to be like more high end. I didn't think they'd be made in China, but I do like this bronzer. I like this compact. You guys know I love the Neo blush in the shade Sunset and I had such a good experience with that blush that I decided to try the bronzer and so far I really, really like this product. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from the Sephora sale is this guy. This is the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. So I kind of talked about this on my Instagram, but basically I watched one of the episodes from season eight on that fateful Sunday and that was the exact day that this product launched on Sephora and the sale was on so I figured you know what let me just give Urban Decay another chance it's like a bad boyfriend that I keep taking back even though I know I shouldn't and so far it's good I don't hate it I kind of think this is like an iconic palette so as a collector I really am happy I have this and I'm glad I got it during a sale um, not sure I would have bought this if I hadn't been all like hyped from watching the episode and it launching that day and it being on sale. So yeah, I did swatch all the eyeliners from this collection and they have some really beautiful shades, but the eyeliners was one of the things that sold out like super duper fast. And even with the sale, they were like $18. So I was like, mm, I have enough eyeliners. I'm going to wait on that. So the next thing I picked up during the sale is the Herbivore Emerald Oil, I guess. This is the Deep Moisture Glow Oil, and it's green. Oh my gosh. Um, so I wanted to try a new oil. This does have 100 milligrams of CBD and adaptogenous. I don't know what that means, but I thought I'd give it a try because it was a new face oil. It was decently priced. I love the Juno oil from Sunday Riley, but ha but it hasn't been hydrating my face like I'm used to. So I kept looking up like what other face oils I might try. And this one was a newer release. So I decided to give it a go. So far I do like it. 
Um, is it, you know, as good as my Sunday Riley used to be for me? Not really, but I'm gonna keep trying it and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm so sad that Sunday Riley Juno stopped working on my face. It's really disappointing. So the next few things I got with that same order as the oil, I did pick up a Velour Lash Adhesive and this is like the white shade or the clear shade or something like that. And this was because my Huda one is black and so when I use it, if I get the lash on and sometimes it like the glue gets on the wrong part of your eyeball, it like ruins an eyeshadow look. So I decided to grab like a clear or like a white so that it would blend better versus like having chunks of black lash glue where it's not supposed to be. Um, the next thing I bought in that same order is this little set from Milk. And basically I have a friend here on, well she's actually on Instagram and she loves to talk about milk makeup and got me really, really curious about the brand. And so I bought this little set to try out and it comes with this little blush which is called Work. This is a lip and cheek. And I actually wore this in a video where I tried out the Astro Pink palette from Kaleidos. And then I'm wearing this highlighter today. This is called Turnt. And I love these little baby sizes because it's a great way to try the product and not buy a ton of product because the full size of this is like pretty big. And then it also gave me a sample size of the Kush Mascara, which I have used before. I did feel like this transferred on me, but it was part of the set. So obviously I'm going to you know, use it and try it again. And then the reason I placed that order is because this little guy did come back in stock. It was sold out and I was so curious about it that I picked it up. This color scheme was just so appealing to me. Unfortunately, this is a dud for me. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of pigmentation with this palette. I was really disappointed actually. The shades feel really dry. I just don't get the hype with the Viseart petite palettes and the ones in this like cardboard packaging their matte palettes are so beautiful but these ones just like don't feel as good on my eyes and it's so hard to get that same like shimmer look on my lid and I feel like I would have to use a glitter glue but it's like a $30 mini palette and it seems a little bit ridiculous to pay that price so I'm definitely returning this one from uh, the sale. So the next few things I bought from the sale, I actually placed an order because this product came back in stock. This is a beauty blender set and it was 45 bucks, which is a pretty good deal because these are typically 20 bucks a piece. So you essentially got like one for like almost free, especially with the sale. I saw my friend um, Jackie Lorraine haul this and I was like, you know what? I could use more beauty blenders <laughs> and so I did pick it up and I'm excited to have some backups. I just broke in a new beauty blender and it's a pink one so I'm excited to have a new sponge because I kind of like feel like I don't switch my sponges out enough so if you guys have an idea like how long are you supposed to use your beauty blenders because I feel like is it three months or is it like a month? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments okay? I'm not sure. Um, and then with that order I did buy the Found Sealer by Tarte. This is a multitasking foundation. I'm actually wearing this foundation today in the shade 44S Tan Sand. I do have a demo putting this on coming up. If it's not up already, it's coming up. If it's up already, I'll link it for you guys so you can check it out. But you guys know I am such a fan of palm print. <laughs> Uh, which was one of the reasons that really sold me on this concealer foundation deal and then I saw Tati review this and she said it wasn't long lasting but I kind of liked the idea of a really dewy concealer foundation situation and I do feel like it is very dewy so I am excited to keep playing with this. I don't really know too much about the longevity of this concealer foundation situation. I will wear this to work and then I think I'll have a better idea of how this is going to work for my skin. But yeah, so far I'm happy. I like the color match and I really want the brush because it has palm print on it. But I decided to hold back because the brush was like 28 bucks. So I was like, Karen, absolutely not. The other thing I bought in that order is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I picked up the shade Dark, which is number nine. And I don't know, it's very orange. I haven't worn this on my face yet. I am in the process of decluttering my foundation. So I did decide to basically pull out all of my foundations and I'm gonna wear them, you know, once or twice 
and kind of really ask myself like do I like this how this looks on my skin is it long wearing if I keep this will I keep wearing it can I recommend this to my subscribers um, things like that and so I've already gone through a few and put them in the like the maybe pile but I'm excited to try two new ones um, because I'm really on the quest for like my holy grail foundations and um, I thought the best way to do that would be to start by trying all the ones I currently own and I wanted to take advantage of the sale and pick up two kind of lightweight uh, kind of your skin but better foundations. so I thought those two would be perfect for that and then I did go in store because I had a JCPenney gift card that I could use at my Sephora and I was going in to look for this because it was sold out online but actually it was sold out in store too. So I couldn't spend my money on that and then I had seen this product in the store when I had gone in a different day and I was like, oh man, that's the color that Sephora told me I should get when I was looking online at buying the Fenty Beauty bronzer. But I went with the shade Baja instead of Caramel Cutie. And when I saw Caramel Cutie in person, it definitely looked a little bit less red than um, Baja, whatever that shade is called. So I thought this one actually would work better with my skin tone. As you can see, I haven't used this yet, but I like the undertone of this one. It's more yellow golden, and I feel like that'll be better with my skin. So what I'm planning on doing is testing this out, and then depending on which one works, I will return the one I think doesn't work as well so that's that and then for no apparent reason I did decide to smell some fragrances and I smelled this guy this is Gucci Flora this is a limited edition gorgeous gardenia scent and I got the 1.6 fluid ounce and yeah I think this smells like heaven actually um this is what the packaging looks like totally uh this yellow bottle like haunts me and I like it it's a floral scent but honestly, I'm like a fresh scent gal, and I like it. I like this a lot. It's not as floral as the original Gucci Flora, but I love it so much. And I recently finished up a bottle of Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon, and I have a few other perfumes I'm planning on finishing up this summer, so I figured I'd take advantage of the sale and use up my gift card and uh, get a scent, because... You can never have too many fragrances. Actually, you can have too many fragrances, but I've never owned a Gucci fragrance, so I'm excited to have this in my collection. Let me know if you guys would like to see a perfume video. I did film one a while ago, so I would love to do an updated one if you guys are interested in that. And then the last two things I bought from the Sephora sale, I placed this order right before the sale ended, and I just wanted to use up my discount <laughs> and so I was interested in this product it is a invisible dry shampoo by the brand dry bar so I have their original dry bar dry shampoo and I don't really love it it's very chalky in my hair and I feel like my hair is oily like the next day even after I use it so I don't think it's very good but this was really intriguing because of the invisible lightweight formula that it says it has and it absorbs light oils and impurities leaving hair feeling clean and refreshed with a soft sheer finish so I'm excited to try this I will definitely keep you guys posted about how this works out for me maybe I'll do a how was it like how was it after I tried it kind of video on all these products. I'm really bad at doing like recaps on hauls so definitely on my list of things to get better at this month and then I totally caved and bought this because I was like oh I really wish I had like a palette I wanted with the 20% off and I didn't really have my eye on this but I was like "Ooh, it's 20% off and then I got my Ebates Sephora gift card so it really knocked a few dollars off of this so I was able to get this at a good price and I've been really on a Natasha Denona kick lately and some of the shimmers in this palette just look so beautiful that I'm excited to have this. It's not a new palette but I still feel like you know you guys would appreciate my thoughts on this and I love the gold palette so so much that I'm curious to try this out and see how it works and it's so so beautiful so 
definitely gonna have a video on that guy. Um, probably not anytime soon soon, but definitely if you are curious about it, let me know down in the comments so I know to make a like review or maybe like a get ready with me so you guys can check it out. But other than that, that is everything that I picked up during the Sephora sale. Definitely a lot less savage in my opinion. I feel like usually my hauls are like forever long and some of it's like, why did I even buy that? I just like bought it for the sake of buying it or like I hype bought it. So I really, really tried this time to not just buy everything on my loves list or not just buy everything because it was on sale. And I feel like I did a decent job. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you picked up during the sale and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.